Oh, oh, Nick. Is that giant? <laughs> it looked really big. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go, dude. What the heck, bro? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today's video is an exciting one, and that is because we are out doing something a little different, a little bit of a different scenery. You can probably already tell from the background, but we are not on the Fox River, which is the only place that I have fished so far this spring. We are out here, we've made it to the big water. And this is the very first time I've actually made it on the big water in my boat. I turn around, you can see John from Mendak Outdoors. Up in the front, it is just him and I out here. We've got the old Lund, you can see side imaging going right now and uh yeah this is the layout i know you guys don't see this a whole lot but i am going to start trying to film some more videos in it this is the first time this thing's been out here and honestly not too bad but we honestly could not have picked a better day the last like week and a half the weather has been butt cheeks and today actually is like going to be in the 40s it's sunny not much wind it's from the west it's actually kind of beautiful out here now so Really excited. We have already been out here for probably an hour or so, and uh, we weren't we weren't gonna pick up the cameras until we found something and got a little dialed in. Well, let me tell you, we got dialed and we found fish. Um, so far, without the camera on, I caught a 26, and John caught like a 24. Not on camera, so I will pop up some pictures so you guys can still see and appreciate the size of the fish that we've already caught today. But that was just the beginning, so when that happened, we were like, man, we should probably pick up the camera. So this is already after the fact that we caught those, and now that we kind of got a technique and figured out what we're doing, we're gonna, obviously I got the GoPro on, we're gonna turn that on. Uh, we're gonna get to filming and hopefully catch even bigger than that 26, which already was the biggest fish so far of the season for me. So really excited, should be a really good video. So you guys will have to stay tuned, and let's go get them. There we go. Get him in. Oh. That'll eat. Well, guys, this is the first uh, fish actually on camera of the day. And it just happens to be the smallest one that we've caught so far. Probably about uh, 15 inch male. But they are cranking the rip and wrap. We're just doing a little drifting and we are getting them. So first one of many, now that I got the GoPro actually on, um, yeah, we're gonna try to get some more hook sets. Hopefully get some more females. We are marking a bunch of fish and just trying to go through them. So first of many, get them back and hopefully we'll be hooked up soon enough. What are you gonna do before work? Oh shit, you crushed it. <laughs> feels better now. Feels better? A little bit, better than the other one, but. Are we gonna get some bass jumps right here, you think? I don't know, he is coming to the surface for whatever reason. Probably because it's far out. Crushed it though. Very nice. Not too big. Not too small. Not too small. Okay, I'm Average for, bay fish. <laughs> I'm foreseeing this ripping rat coming out of his mouth and coming right at our face, Nick. Yay! <laughs> well, that's an upgrade. Well, I'm not really sure what happened to my GoPro, but it did cut out when I released that fish. So you didn't miss too much important stuff, but I wanted to talk about what we're using today. So in the last video, we were using the rip and wrap on the Fox River. Today, we're obviously not on the river, but we are still using the rip and wrap. I'm not sure what color this is, but everybody likes to use like brown or I don't know, like dark colors because of the gobies out here. So I decided to go with this pattern. It's kind of got like a brownish top with the red tint and uh, obviously the green just to give a little flare the sun decided to come out today and actually be nice out for the first time in about a week and a half but that's what i'm using 
we're drifting, casting it as far as you can, letting it drift, just giving it small pops, and they are crushing it. So get it back out there, try to catch another one. Hey guys, how's it going? I just hooked up, Nick and I have been marking pods, and we just make casts accordingly to where they are. I actually felt this one goblet off the bottom, so I got to wind down and actually set the hook into them, which is pretty cool. And it feels like a decent fish, Nick, I'm not gonna lie. It um, seems like you bombed that cast. I, oh, I sent it to a different area code, for sure. But this is fun, man. This is a lot of fun, tossing these big aggressive baits. It kind of does look nice. It, it feel, my arm is getting pretty tired right now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, Nick. Is that giant? <laughs> it looked really big. It did look really it big. It looked really big. I mean, judging on your rod, it looks like it's big. You see, I can see it right there. Oh yeah, it looks pretty big, John. I'm gonna have to set the camera down. God. Oh God, oh God, Nick. <laughs> he munched it. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go, dude. What the heck, bro? Whoa. Holy crap! Why does it look so big, dude? Oh, is that a thirty? Oh, no. oh my god, that's huge, John. It's not a thirty. I don't know. It's this is definitely. Oh, oh my, my god. god, dude, that's so big. Oh. Holy crap, Nick! Look at the gut on that thing. Well, guys, there's the first really big end of the day. Measured it, twenty-seven incher. But look how fat this thing is. It's probably. I don't know, it's pushing like eight plus, man. Oh, for this, sure. It's, it's an eight, eight plus pound fish. Gorgeous, It's you can tell. Look how old it is, it's got a little bump on there, a little like Dang. hump. Just a brute of a big, fish. Big fish. Yeah, it's wow. uh, definitely a unit. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> right back down oh my god that was what a, a beast dude let's go <laughs> it's about time we have a day it's about time man we've been nick and i have been trying to film content for you guys on his channel and your my channel but the weather has not permitted this is the first day where it's actually decent out and lo and behold we're catching fish There's one. Oh, rip, buddy. <laughs> well, we had one. Oh, this is cool there. But that's all right. We'll just uh, act like that didn't happen. It wasn't too big, probably like 24. You know, your average bay fish, some would say. Still would have been nice to get into the boat, but you never know when they're thrashing around with troubles in their mouth, they can easily shake it. That's why they come up and they do that. It's all right, we're starting to really get into them. John just caught one. And uh, yeah, we're this is fun. Been waiting for good weather like this. It just makes me feel even more motivated than when it's, you know, 25 and snowing. There's one. You got one? Yes, sir. Well, that one decided to actually stay on. Oh, just popped right off. Not too big, but nice quality fish. This is really fun. <clears throat> this water is so much cleaner than the Fox River. It is insane. You can actually see them like five, six feet down. And all the fish up here are nice and golden, which is what I'm used to, you know, up in the north woods. But the difference here than up there is, you know, every fish could be 30 inches up here. You just never know. Oh, 
<laughs> Did you have one? I had one. Son of a <laughs> bitch. We just need to drift through them. <laughs> Actually, yeah, maybe I'll throw that one. Oh my god, I just missed another one. Son of a bitch. I hate it. I had to step away, I had to go down there because this is a very large fish. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get the bigger camera out, step to the back of the boat, but this is why I had to go in the back so John could net it for me. But uh, yeah, it's like a 10 pound fish, so let's get the big camera. Let me show you this freaking beast. Oh, got the bump board out. We'll put her on there, see how big this fish is. Well, it's probably easily a 10 pound fish. They are just built so different out here, my God. That is huge. 28 and a quarter maybe, just touching. Absolute giant. <laughs> wow. One last look. Man, what a fish, super gold. <laughs> huge, this is what spring is all about when you think of the walleye run. Man, one last look and get her back in. So she can do her thing, it's still early. Water temps right now is 30 degrees so this has got a long ways to go come on big girl there she goes <laughs> what a giant and the day's just getting going I can't even believe it we got like hours to try to beat that and I got a good feeling we might just do that All right, you guys, so it has been a little bit since we've picked up the camera, but I wanted to pick it up and inform you that I got a new passenger on the boat. We uh, went in, the wind actually really picked up where we were at, the wind was coming from the opposite side of the lake. And uh, let's just say it got pretty choppy and the Lund was definitely, uh, I, was, I was breaking her in for sure to say the least. So we ended up making the trek back to the landing uh, switched passengers so John actually went with our buddies uh, Sweary and Dustin and he's fishing with them right now and I picked up Brandon hello he drove over here and uh, decided to pick him up so plan is we are going to end today's video and me and him are gonna try to film um, our own video so hopefully you guys will see something from us but with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I mean, John and I, we 
we did pretty good for what we had going for us. I mean, my trolling motor wasn't working this morning and uh, we were dealt with just kind of drifting around, hoping we can find fish and we definitely found them. I mean, I caught a 28 and a quarter, John caught a 27 and a half, 26. Lots of big fish out here on the bay and it's definitely a different scenery. We've been hitting the river the last couple of weeks, so feels good to be back out here, hitting the big water, hitting the lake, which is what I'm used to so if you guys liked it please make sure to give it a like make sure you guys leave a comment down below letting us know if we should come out to the big water some more or any other content that you guys would like to see but for now i'm going to pick up the rod get to fishing hopefully film another banger video for you guys so stay tuned for that brandon are you going to catch a giant goal is to catch a giant is it going to happen i don't know but hopefully we catch a giant all right now i'm gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen again thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please make sure to give it a like make sure you guys are subscribed we will catch you on the next one tight lines from nb edits